Mathias experiment began with extracts from E. coli that contained ribosomes and amino acids. They noticed that when RNA is added to the extract, a protein was produced. They then began to experiment with synthetic nucleotides known as polyURNA. They found that certain RNAs coded for certain proteins. For example, poly A coded for lysine and poly C coded for proline. They didn't know how many RNAs were required to make a protein as they didn't know at the time what a codon was. The two determined a ribosomal assay that would determine the codon lengths. They created mixtures with ribosomes and tRNAs charged with radioactive phenylalanine. One mixture received polyURNA. They were then poured over a cellulose nitrate filter and washed. The filter caught the ribosomes and allowed the fluid to pass. The two scientists found that only one of the filters was radioactive. The polyU acted as an intermediary for the tRNAs to attach to the ribosomes, and without the polyU, there was no reaction. They concluded that there were only four nucleotides that led to radioactivity and reactivity, and that a minimum of three nucleotides is required for a codon. They then went on to graph the codons and amino acids and found that specifically charged tRNAs bound to certain codons. Through conducting this experiment, they eventually mapped the genetic code, consisting of 64 codons. Each codon codes for a specific amino acid. They also found that there were specific stop codons, UAA, UAG, and UGA, and a start codon, AUG. Once the stop codon is encountered, tRNAs are no longer able to bind to the codons, signaling the end of protein synthesis. These codons, when combined, code for specific amino acids that eventually make up proteins. Nuremberg and Letter's experiment utilized new technology that allowed oak all codons to be made in vitro. They began by making artificial mRNA codons that were combined with ribosomes and amino isolated tRNAs. The mixtures were circulated through the filter, allowing the ribosomes to be trapped. Remaining a radioactivity on the filter acted as an indicator to match the codons to the amino acids.